Welcome back to the Warhawk Sports Network here with men's soccer coach Wolf Koch. Uh, coach, thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure. So, uh, Coach, just want to give the fans out there um, a little outlook about what they can expect from the Warhawks this season. Um, a 9-8-3 and three record last year, 10 returners, 13 newcomers. Um, and overwhelmingly, the uh, returners are capped off by Alan Harwell, the senior. Um, 11 goals, 7 assists. Um, played in all 20 games, started in all 20 games. The only uh, player last year to have those stats. Um, what are you looking forward to to have out of him this year? Um, I think with Alan having his senior year coming up, um, he's going to have a um, great year. He's going to be a threat uh, to score goals, to assist. And, um, you know, the key for him is to stay healthy and, um, and, and do his thing. Awesome. So, uh, Coach, you know, talk about the nine other returners. Um, you know, you've got uh, Hetler coming back, um, Dukes, Ingram, just to name a few, uh, Nikki Davis, Christian. Um, you got a lot of players coming back. Uh, how are you going to use that experience this year? Yeah, it's, um, you know, if you really look at it, off those ten guys that are coming back, only three are seniors, um, Stephen Ingram, Grant Dukes, and Alan Howell. Uh, and then the other guys are all um, either rising sophomores or, or juniors. So it's, it's still a really, really young team. And I think um, you know, we're going to be playing accordingly. I think there's going to be some great matches. We're going to be playing really well. And there's going to be some letdowns. That's just nature. And um, that's the, the makeup of the team with 13 freshmen and only three seniors out of a roster of 23. It's. Um, it's young, inexperienced. You know, we have to find ourselves. We have to find our system of play, our philosophy, how we attack, how we defend, and it's a process. So it's going to take a couple, couple of years to get this guy, these guys, ready to um, where we were a few years ago when we went to the national championship game. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Um, so let's talk a little bit uh, before we get into the actual schedule. Uh, the 13 newcomers you got, um, I mean, you've got kids from all over, uh, a few kids from Alabama, a few hometown kids, uh, including the Twins. Um, talk a little bit about, um, you know, maybe one or two uh, freshmen that you really think could have an outstanding year this year. Yeah, um, you know, the, the transition from, N, from NAI to NCAA, I think, has helped our local recruiting tremendously. Um, you know, all of a sudden we become more of a viable option for kids that play at a high level in Birmingham or Huntsville, for example. Um, you know, we we got guys from from up there. Obviously, we've got guys from Auburn, from Silicaga, and um, you know, 15 Americans versus eight internationals. That's a first, um, and the majority of those Americans are all from Alabama. So. That's a great thing. Uh, there's good players in Alabama, and um, you know we're fortunate enough to 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 get a bunch of them. So um, you know that's exciting. <clears throat> awesome. So uh, you know, looking at the schedule, uh, started off um, against Lynn and the University of Illinois Springfield up in Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, transition on the road, and then you finally come back home uh, September 14th versus Clayton State. Um, is there any matchups in particular that you're uh, looking forward to you think are really going to test the team or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, the very first game against Lynn, you know, they won, what, two out of the last five or six national championships in NCAA Division Two, So we'll be tested right off the bat. Um, and then we play Illinois Springfield, which is used to be an old NAI power. Um, then Delta State, Mississippi College, two... Um, Gulf South teams, so that gives us a little bit of an inclination of where we are in Gulf South play, getting ready for 2017, and we kind of have an idea where we are, how we can compete with those two schools. But I think overall, in general, it's a, um, a really tough Division Two schedule, but in, all, in order for us to, um, to um, now what's the word I'm looking for, in order for us to to be somebody in the NCAA, then we need to play people that are already somebody in the NCAA. So um, there's no need for us to, to sugarcoat it and then play um, a soft schedule. You know, you know, we're gonna get after it. 
uh, like we always have, and, and and let the chips fall where they may. Awesome, Coach. Uh, final question: um, After the home game against Clayton, uh, you travel up to Lee University, who has a pretty good program as well, and then you come back home uh, for five home games. Uh, pretty awesome to have. Um, that many home games in the first year of the NCAA schedule. Um, you know, what are you looking forward to to teaching the kids about, you know, what it means to play at AUM? Because I know you say we have a – our field is a little bit different. It plays a little bit different. It's a little bigger. Um, what are you looking forward to to see out of those kids on uh, the home field here? I just want them to compete. Um, I want them to, you know, represent the university, represent the team and themselves really well. Um, and, and, and follow the process. You know, we've been talking about the process with them from day one um, in terms of how long it's going to take, you know, the team building, the tactics, the technique and everything. And, and, and you know, and this group with so many new guys and so many guys that are coming back still being young, now this group needs to find an identity. And it can happen quickly and it can take time. So. Um, you know, the biggest thing is for for all these new guys that are coming in, they get to play under the lights, and they've never known anything different when they get here and when they play versus some of the returning guys and the old guys that have graduated over the years. You know, we never had the luxury of playing at AUM under the lights on a Friday evening. Um, and I think they get to set a new tradition, and um, hopefully they'll make it a positive one. Awesome, Coach. Well, thank you very much, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate it.